hello everyone today i would like to show you how to program the esp32 camera mode using arduino ide and how to access the camera video streaming server this device is based on the esp32 ace microcontroller and has an integrated video camera and micro sd card slot and actually it's not an expensive device you can get one for about ten dollars uh, this makes it very good for projects which involve videos video streaming features like image tracking and recognition so let's have a closer look at the device so one thing you notice that remember i've said that this module is based on the esp 32 microcontroller module but as you see it has fewer pins than most generic esp32 microcontroller modules uh, for example i have one here if you look at this this is also esp32 but as you see this has very many pins more pins compared to this one okay and the reason is because for this module this esp32 camera module most of the input and output pins are used internally for the camera and the micro sd card slot so this device has components on both the front and the back side so on the front side you have here yeah, this is our micro sd card slot which can accommodate uh, 4 gb of data so even if you put um, a card which is more than 4 gb the maximum it can accommodate is 4 gb so this is the ov2640 camera which is a 2 megapixel camera and it is being attached to the microcontroller using this fpc connector here okay so we also have the white led this acts as our flash lamp for the camera so on the back side as you see this is the esp 32 microcontroller which is the one controlling the whole device then you have a provision for an external antenna in case you have a problem with the, the strength of the wi-fi signal so you can improve it using an external antenna which you can attach here then there is a reset pin and then uh, this is the ps ram yeah because you're going to be using uh, image processing images usually need a lot of uh, storage so you might need some external storage so you have four mb of ps ram here so as you can see yeah this is our esp camera that because it has uh, components on both the front and back side so it's really very hard like to put on a breadboard you can especially because there is a reset pin which is on the other side so if you put it on the breadboard it can be a bit of a challenge so most of the times when you are connecting it to other computer or other devices you are going to be using the female connectors or female to female female to male connectors as i'll be showing you as you go on also something else you have to note is that this device can use both 3.3 volts and 5 volts power supply so as you can see here we have this side this is the 3.3 volts power supply and this side we have the 5 volts supply and then if you are to compare this ESP cam and the other one I showed you initially as you see this other module has a USB port as uh, can be plugged directly to a computer but this one the ESP cam does not have a USB port so in that case it means we need to we need an external FTDI programmer for example in my case I'm going to be using this this is the FT232RL FTDI programmer so then I'm going to be using to connect my ESP32 camera to a computer so I'll be showing you how that connection is done okay let's now proceed to show you how you can be able to program this device using the Arduino IDE so since we are going to be using our E since we are going to be using the Arduino IDE to program the ESP32 camera we need to first install the ESP add-on to our Arduino IDE and to do this if you have been using the ESP32 module 
then most probably you have already installed this add-on for the device however if this is your first time accessing the esp32 camera then you need to just go to file then you go to preferences then you under preferences you see section for additional boards manager url then inside here you need to put the url for the esp32 package which is given here now i'll include these links in the description below so it's okay in case you don't know this one you can check in the description in the link in the description i'll be giving the urls for these packages then after that you click ok something else you have to observe here is that for example in my case i already had um, one of the packages for esp8266 installed before so if i if i need to install another package i need to include the comma here so this is the second package that i have installed for the esp32 so that's important that also to note okay so after that you just press ok and then you have installed that package then after that you also need to include the esp32 board among the boards that are going to be managed by the arduino ide so in that case you simply just go to tools then you go to the board then you go to the boards manager then under the boards manager you simply look for esp32 then it will just come then you have the esp32 by expressive systems then if you haven't yet installed it you just see here the word install and install then also another important thing after installing the package and the boards then you need to specify the kind of board that you are using so you go to tools you go to the board then you go to in for example in the case having sold the esp 32 arduino boards so you look for the type of board you're having for our case we are using ai think esp 32 cam so you select that and it's going to be shown now when you go to tools you can be able to see it here now because i've said our esp 32 camera does not use a usb port and you're going to be using a ftdi programmer so you also need to check that you have the drivers for this programmer installed so what you do in this case you simply go to your computer uh, check for manage devices just put devices or device manager okay so after that you plug the ftdi programmer into your computer after plugging it into your computer if the drivers are present then you should be able to see under port under ports you should be able to see the com port the serial port for that driver and even near in the universal serial bus controller you should be able to see the usb serial converter that shows they have the proper drivers for the ftdi programmer that you're going to be using to program your esp32 camera in case you don't have these usb serial ports one thing you'll observe that when you go to the arduino tools and here and the port serial ports you find that this area does not give you the port number for the usb port in other words you just find it blank or to be brought out in a meaning that you don't have the necessary drivers in some other cases you might even get an error when you plug in the programmer into the computer you are going to get an error or to be showing you that the device is not being recognized so in that case you need to install the necessary driver for the kind of ftdi device that you are using i will also put a link in the description below with the guidelines on how to install those drivers in case you don't have them on your computer so this is the simple demonstration of our range i've arranged my ftdi connector with the esp32 camera from here you see that i have the ground pin from the ftdl programmer going to one of the ground pins of the camera here then there's a power pin a vcc in this case because i'm going to be programming the esp to come i'll be using the 3.3 volts and in that case don't forget to also 
change the jumper here because this jumper has two voltages there is a five volts and three volts in this case i'm going to be putting the jumper on this side of the three volts because i'll be using 3.3 volts when i'm programming this esp camera device then also from this side you see uh, i have a white wire coming from the rx pin of the programmer so this rx will be going to the tx of the device which is input and output pin one then the i have a gray wire the gray wire is connected to the uh, tx yeah connected to tx of the programmer and in this case it will be going to the rx of the esp32 device and that is your pin three then uh, because i'm going to be programming or uh, uploading code so we make sure that the pin zero this is here as you can see pin zero which is the third pin from this side it's connected to ground so i'll be using the female to female connectors to connect these two pins so that i can be able to put the device in the flashing mode so that i can be able to upload the code so that is how i've set up my connection for the ftdi programmer and the esp32 camera so after checking with the esp32 add-on and the necessary drivers for our ftdi programmer then we can try to check if this camera is really working properly using one of the examples so just go here to file examples then look for esp32 then look for camera and then camera web server so you are going to get this camera web server example to be able to access the camera web server for video streaming so you can test our esp32 camera module so in here we don't need to change a lot of things we only need to specify the model that we are using for example in my case i'll uh, just comment out this and i'm using the ai thinker model so i will uncomment that and then you also need to put your ssid and password for the wi-fi network that you are going to be using and the rest of the code just leave it as it is and yeah you can continue from there so after filling the necessary information for the type of esp camera that you are using and the ssid and the password for your wi-fi network then you can first compile the code to verify if there's any errors in it okay so now it's finished compiling then from there i can upload it to my board okay now it is uploading the program so for my case since i've already uploaded a number of programs into the device already so most cases i'll just leave wait for it try the program into the device and then it will just show me that the whatever the uploading is finished but if you if you're uploading the code for the first time then we need to press the reset part you need to reset we need to press the reset button so that the code can be uploaded properly so for my case i don't need to press the reset button i just wait yeah so here when it shows this message on my side then it means the data has been uploaded or the code has been uploaded successfully from there I need to now access the video streaming server but before I do that then I need to change the configuration all the pin settings for my FTDI programmer and the ESP32 camera let me show you what I mean by that so after uploading the code now we need to remove this connection here we need to remove the connection between the uh, input and output pin 0 and ground so I will disconnect this connector here okay also another thing i discovered in my case when i try to again accessing the video streaming services or the video streaming server using the 3.3 volts connection 
I was not able to do so, I was just getting errors. So in my case, I had to change the power supply. So in this case, if you have the same problem, most probably it's due to the power supply. So since when uploading, you use 3.3 volts. So when you are going to begin the video stream, then you need to change it to 5 volts. So we change this pin from 3.3 and I'll put it, I touch it to the 5 volt side, this side. And also, don't forget, on our programmer, it means now we are going to be changing the jumper from this side, this is 3.3, so I'll be changing it to this side, to 5 volts, so we change the jumper also, to 5 volts like that, okay, then from here, we can be able to begin accessing the IP address and the video or the camera web server. I also did some simple soldering to simplify my work so that I can be able to just place the camera on this breadboard here. So I'll just connect this to my computer and then I'll be able to access the web server. Okay, now let me connect my camera to my computer so I can be able to get the IP address for the video streaming server. So I just connect my device to computer. And after that, from the Arduino IDE, I go to the serial monitor. Make sure that the bound rate is 115200 bound. Then from here you press the reset button okay the way i've done my soldering at least there's enough space down here so that you can be able to press the reset button down here when you press the reset button you observe the information on the serial monitor and here you can be able to access the ip address or the url of the video streaming web server so what you do just copy this url and paste it into a browser yeah so now you can be able to access this video streaming service here so to begin streaming you just press start stream here okay then you can be able to see the stream on your uh, like here I'm seeing my stream then from the streaming service they are different you can even change the resolution okay if you want a big one like this you can change the effects yeah i can do a lot of things from this stream here Yeah, so you can try out different settings for your video streaming and resolution and quality of image, brightness, contrast, saturation, like that, to see how the camera works. So the major aim of this video was just to demonstrate how to begin programming the ESP32 camera using the Arduino IDE and how to be able to access the video streaming web server. So you can try this out on your own in different settings. Hope this was useful and you learned something new today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and also watch my other tutorials thanks for watching